If you've been living in Colorado for the last three to four months, you have seen hailstorms and rainstorms and windstorms like we haven't seen in years. All of my friends in the paintless dent removal community, I'm talking to you, Aslan, are thrilled right now with the dents on people's cars. But for homeowners who own roofs, and yeah, all of you homeowners have a roof, I guarantee it, you've probably got some damage of some form or another. You need to follow these steps to avoid some financial problems that I've discovered recently while working my own roof claims or claims for other clients. Let's get into this important list and pay attention to the very end. Do not wait to get your roof claim processed and the roof replacement started. There's a lot of people out there right now that are saying, wait till October, wait till November. I say, let's not do that. Here's my reason for it, pretty simple. We saw how the supply chain got stressed during the pandemic. If we suddenly have a run on shingles because the rest of the country is getting pounded by hail, you may be facing a leaking roof situation. If the material's available and the contractor's available to do it, get your roof replaced. We can always live to fight another day. And if you have to open another claim or do a supplement for a roof replacement, it's okay. I literally had a client who did a roof replacement, decided to sell. The day before closing, there was damage and we replaced the roof again. The roof, I think, was maybe 15 days old. It's okay. There are mechanisms in place to allow for this. Mother nature is unpredictable and insurance companies have kind of figured that into their actuary tables. Reread your policy before making a claim. Call your local insurance agent before making that automated claim. You know, I have Allstate insurance and I can do it right from my phone, but I can also call call my local agent here in Castle Rock and I can talk to them about it and say, what happens if I make this claim? I think I have enough damage. What is this going to do to my premium going forward? You want to know these things before making a claim. Have a roofer visit your home prior to making the claim. I think this is an understated value of roofers. You know, they're going to show up to your home, bring out the ladder, stand it up, walk your roof, maybe even invite you up on your own roof. If you've never been up there, it's kind of fun and scary. And they're going to say, you see all these strikes? I've got 25 and 100. I think you're getting a new roof. Maybe you have solar panels and you need to know how to deal with those. There are mechanisms in place to deal with that. There are companies that literally come, take your solar panels off, stick them on your lawn, they replace the roof, and then they come back and put the solar panels back on the house. It's totally doable. So take advantage of the local roofing community. If you need a recommendation, I've got a few. If you have to wait to get the work done or to open your claim, make sure you know the limitations of your policy. Some of them have started to include what's called a timeout, meaning if you are outside of the window of when those hailstorm events occurred, they may not warrant your claim. You know, it's not uncommon for people to let damage go by three or four years, know that the roof is hailed out, then go to sell the property and their insurance company says, well, the last event that we had in your neighborhood, according to our information was 2017. So I'm sorry, you know, we don't cover roofs back that far you know, that could be really bad news. And that goes back to number one, don't wait. If you own an older home, like a Victorian downtown or an old craftsman where the decking on top is original, what they did when they built those homes is of course they had the roof trusses and joists lined up like this. And some of them were like 16 on center, some were 24 on center. And they put diagonal boards like this because they knew that wouldn't allow all the framing to move is that that doesn't work anymore. Are you going to have to deck over that with new decking that is rated for the snow load here in Colorado. And sometimes an insurance company doesn't cover that. You want to know that prior to getting into a roof claim because you can easily see a project going from say just a thousand dollar or two thousand dollar deductible to you know tens of thousands of dollars to replace or to install the appropriate roof decking. So keep that in mind as you think about making a roof claim. Number six, check on the roof vent situation you have going on with a qualified HVAC contractor. You know it's heating, ventilation, and air conditioning is what that stands for. And those guys and gals are really the energy efficiency friends of homeowners. The right amount of vent perhaps a turtle vent or two over your garage. Some of those solar powered roof vents can really make a big difference in your home's overall comfort during the summer as well as in the winter. And having that opportunity to install new roof vents while your roof is off is the perfect time to do that. So keep that in mind. Lastly, if you're under contract and 
you're working with a real estate agent to sell your home, understand there are specific provisions within the contract that discuss damages to the home while you're under contract. And you may have some obligations facing you regarding that damage. So this is important, folks, like really super important. I do not recommend that you venture forward on selling a home without at least investigating the roof and knowing what's going on up there if you're under contract. This could create a big headache for you going on down the road after you've closed and there may have been damage while you were the homeowner. So if you have questions about that, consult a real estate attorney or your real estate agent who's helping you sell your home, or if it's me who's selling your home, keep that in mind. This is something you do not want to mess around with. Thank you so much for paying attention to me to the very end on this, what I consider to be an important public service announcement about roof claims and the wild weather we are having this year in Colorado. I hope the moisture level continues. I hope we continue to see a lot of waterfall in Colorado. You know, we need it. We need the water because it feeds seven other states. This is just something that is really super important as a real estate agent to helping out my past clients. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate all the people who've been reaching out to me with questions and comments. You know, not everyone drops a comment on the video. Some people call me or text me and say, hey, I just watched your video. What did you mean by this? So feel free to do that as well. Again, thanks for watching the videos.